There's a brand new HF QRP radio, two models that have been revealed by BG2FX, which is a Chinese manufacturer. You might recognize the FX4C, FX4 Charlie, which has now been discontinued. But there's two new models. One's available now. One's about to come out. We're going to talk about them right here. Watch till the end of the video. I'm going to give you a special word to put in your comment so that I know you watched to the end. And I will be sure to respond to all of those comments that have this special word. Let's go. BG2FX.com is a Chinese radio manufacturer and he started making uh, the smaller QRP radio, which is a 10 watt radio, the FX-4C. That radio has been discontinued now. I actually got one of these a while back and we did a giveaway with one on the channel when it was brand new. He sent me one at... Um, he hit me up on Facebook. He's like, hey, if I send you one, do you want to do a video? And I'm like, absolutely. So we ended up giving that away on the channel. I ended up buying a second one from him. I've been very happy with it. It's a little bit challenging to get the sound card to work in Windows. Windows sees the radio just fine, but for some reason, sometimes WSJTX takes a little bit of tinkering with it. But I've been pretty happy. It's small, it's lightweight, it's compact. It's got a beautiful screen on it. So I suspect that all of these, these, brand, these two brand new models that we're about to talk about probably have the same thing. So let's check both of these out right now. Over here at BG2FX.com, we see the three models that he's got here. And the FX4C, the one on the right, you can, if you mouse over it, it shows to be discontinued. This is the model that I have right here. If you go here to the downloads, link at the top of this page and scroll down to this manual. This user manual, this English user manual was actually written by Adam K6RK. So it is very good, proper English. It's very easy to follow manual. Lots of good pictures, lots of good information. So you can find that. This is of course for the FX4C. There's a manual for their operation, the uh, operation manual for the 4CR, which is the new model. So the model that's available right now is this 4CR for 550. It um, includes the uh, transceiver itself, the microphone, USB cable, and the XT60 power connector shipped to your address. Yeah, so that's the same things that were included in the last model. Key features is uh, built for portability, 10-band transmit, optimized for digital. In other words, it has a built-in sound card. Simple digital operation with Bluetooth or USB. Okay, Bluetooth is new. My radio, my FX4C, the original model, does not have Bluetooth. So that's, that's pretty cool that you can Bluetooth it to... A computer and use that. I wonder if you could use that with like an Android tablet. That'd be something to test out. It's a uh, new SDR developed by BG2FX. That's the gentleman's call sign in China who developed it. It covers all of the major HF bands, including wideband receive capabilities, small one pound built-in speaker microphone, uh, speaker mic that allows for ultra portable operation, built-in USB sound card interface, cables, simple operation for digital modes. There you go. Input voltage is 9 to 18 volts, so you can directly plug in. In fact, that's how I've done mine in the past. I just plug it directly into BioNO, 12, 13 volts, and it's good to go. Two-inch TFT screen. These screens are beautiful on this thing, honestly. Dual VFO, A and B, built-in Bluetooth. That's new for this model. That's new. And this model advertises a 15 to 20 watt. If you go here to the main page, it says right here, it says 8060. Okay, so it includes 60 meters. That's pretty fun. 8060, 40, 30, 2017, 15, 12, and 10. And 6 meter transmit and receive. 15 to 20 watts transmit on HF and 5 watts on 6 meters. Built in sound card, 48 kilohertz spectrum waterfall display, high quality machined aluminum case. I was very happy with the display and the case on the previous model, so I have no doubt that this new model will be just as good, if not a little bit improved. The L model, the one that's not available quite yet, looks like it's still all the same bands. It includes 60 and 30 meters, and includes six meters, but is five watt transmit on all bands, built-in sound card, no Bluetooth, as you can see, lightweight, and they say available soon. So, and of course the discontinued one, that's the one that I have right there. I've had it for a year or so, year or two, something like that. I always thought it'd be fun to take that thing out to POTA and just set up FT8 with it and do some QRP FT8 it like, cause that one's 10 watts. So this L model, he's, he's downgraded a bit to a five watt model, kind of neat looking. Production is in work. Pre-orders have closed, so he's already done pre-orders on that one. This one he did pre-orders on, and he says that all of those have shipped, and now they're available for order. I, It's possible I've clicked to order that, and I've already have one on its way to me. I'm not going to disclose that information because that's not something I like to talk about. <laughs> so how many of you have heard of this radio? What do you think about its small and compact size? If you have the FX4C, 
which one might you be interested in? Maybe you're not interested in either one. You're like, well, I've got the FX4C. It works great. Don't really care to have one that goes to 20 watts. Don't really care to have one that only does 5 watts. Don't care about Bluetooth. Okay, that's fair. But what do you think? Would you rather have a 5-watt model over the, the previous 10-watt model? Or would you rather have a 20-watt model with Bluetooth over the previous 10-watt model? Because you can't get the previous 10-watt model anymore at all. So which one would you rather have? Put a comment below and let me know in the comments which one you would rather have. Your word of the day is compact. Put compact in your comment below. That way I'll know you watched to the end of the video 73.